I say yo Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. Follow me on Instagram at hoops underscore raps underscore wrestling. Follow me on Twitter at hoops wrestling. Today, let's talk about WrestleMania backlash, you feel me? The first pay-per-view after WrestleMania, you feel me? If we being honest, this pay-per-view feels boring and unwarranted, you feel me? The one thing that this pay-per-view had that had people excited was they was going to unify the tag titles. The, the tag team division right now is weak. I'm not going to lie. It is weak. But the two top tag teams is RK Bro and the Usos. But, like, this is a match we've seen, like, five separate times. So people wasn't excited for the match. They was just excited for the unification of the titles. Now, um... They canceled the match and turned it into a six-man tag with the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, and the Usos versus RK Bro and Drew McIntyre. I don't like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't like that. I feel like the tag match was the only thing people really wanted to see on this pay-per-view. I feel like they giving us Drew and Roman too soon. You feel me? Even if it's not right now, if, even if it's for money in the bank, that's too soon. I feel like the Usos... Could have beat RK Bro so the Bloodline have all the belts. And then you could pivot to Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton for the Unified World title. That would be a good match. And then you could still break up the tag titles in a few months. You feel me? But you can really have the Bloodline as like the most dominant faction of all time, respectfully. That can really be a thing. You feel me? I feel like that was somewhere they could have went. And then you go to... Drew McIntyre versus Roman whenever you go across board for the uh, overseas show. You feel me? In the UK. But they rushing it. Respectfully, they rushing it. They rushing it. I don't like it. You feel me? But <clears throat> who do I think is going to win that match? I think the Bloodline is going to win. I'm not going to lie. I don't see the Bloodline winning, losing on pay-per-view or live stream, whatever. So I got them winning. Uh, Edge and AJ Styles. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Because this feud has not been lighting the world on fire. It's not. Um, the Edge faction, like, it's still building. It's still building. I would be okay if they add Tommaso Ciampa. I don't want them to add Rhea Ripley, though. But I would be okay if they add Tommaso Ciampa. Um, I feel like this feud needs something, though. Like, it needs a boost of energy. Maybe they put AJ Styles and Finn Balor together. I've been saying that for two years now. Put them back together or put them together on the main roster. But then AJ just came out of a tag team with Omos. That would almost be the same thing but different. But this feud needs something. I'm not going to lie. To me, this Edge versus AJ Styles feud has not lived up to it. It's not lived up to it for me. I don't know if it's that promos or the spooky stuff, but it's not lived up to it for me. I'm not going to lie. Speaking of Omos... Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Lashley will also Lashley beat him at Mania. I don't expect him to beat him again. And he got MVP. But I don't want this to continue. Respectfully, there's not a lot you can do with Omos. So it's either like MVP and I'm going to add more people to the group. But like you can't just have Omos out there working as just one person. He can't just be a solo act. Or he can't just be a solo act with a mouthpiece. He needs people around him, I think. So put Shelton and Cedric together, Dijakovic, whatever. But they got to find something to do. But I got Omos winning. Um, Corbin versus Moss. Um, I hope Madcap Moss win just so it'd be like a new face, you feel me? But I could see Baron Corbin winning and then feuding with Ricochet actor. So I wouldn't be surprised with that. Um, Cody Verge versus Seth Rollins. This is probably... The second match that people are anticipated for. Everybody's still loving Cody Rhodes now. He's still white hot. Um, This match can be better than their WrestleMania match. It can be. I don't think, think it will. I fake don't think it will. But it can be. It has the potential. Um, I'm going with Cody Rhodes, I think. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Because I feel like if fake is too soon to do 50-50 booking. But then I feel like if they want to get another match out of this. They can, but they don't have to, respectfully. They don't have to. I fake feel like it's time to turn Seth Rollins' baby face. I fake feel like it's that time. There's nothing left for him to do as a heel. And then once you turn him baby face, Roman Reigns is right there to fight with. You feel me? But I'm going to go with Cody. I'm going to go with Cody. Um, 
in the main event, this one better close. I don't think the six man tag is gonna be the main event. And I don't think Cody and Seth is gonna be the main event. Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. This is probably gonna be the last match. I quit match. Nobody cares about this feud, respectfully. I don't, nobody does. They were smart not doing it at Mania. That was smart. It shocked a lot of people. But I would do right here is if Ronda's gonna win, I would have Bailey debut. Respectfully. I know Bailey's ready to debut. We just had Oscar return. Ba I said debut. Bailey has to return at this pay-per-view. You feel me? You can put her on the raw side because she was feuding with Bianca Belair before she got injured. But I feel like they just added Oscar to um Raw. Alexa Bliss is gonna be on Raw. I feel like SmackDown needs more top heavy women. Like, Bailey versus Ronda Rousey at Money in the Bank is a good match, respectfully. A marquee match. That match can have a lot of story to it. You can do a switch there or not. You can do a double turn or not, you feel me? You could just have Bailey be the fan. Like, yo, you, this is my belt. I had the longest reign. Ronda Rousey, you're a joke, you feel me? I don't respect you. That's what you could just make that about. You don't have to make it, you feel me, baby face, da-da-da, make it so... You don't have to think so hard. They thought too hard for this Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey feud. Respectfully. They've thought way too hard for it. Way too hard. You feel me? They doing way too much stuff to get her chair. It's like, bro, she only here for a year. She don't got to be on TV every week. She can turn heel, bro. She's only here for a year. Like, I don't see Ronda Rousey doing this year, then coming back after that. After this year run, I think she's done. So it's like, bro, just turn her heel. And benefit off of it more. You feel me? But I would love for Bailey to return. You feel me? Those are my predictions. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the bell for all notifications. And I'll be back with more.